Coming uh, to the detailed analysis of this sonnet, let's take up the first verse. Take all my loves, my love, yeah, take them all. That's an important uh, way to begin. And you know, uh, and uh, a straightforward beginning is there to this sonnet. And he, addressing his friend, is telling him that, take everything from me. Whatever I have, take all those things from me, my love. जैसे हम इसको उर्दू में बोले तो मेरे महबूब मुझसे सब कुछ छीन ले सब कुछ ले जा जो कुछ मेरा है वो तू ले जा वट हैज दाउ देन मोर देन दाउ हैड एस बिफोर वंस यू हैव टेकन एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम मी स्नेच्ड एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम मी आई ना आस्क यू ए क्वेश्चन नाउ हैव यू हैड एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रा देन यू हैड बिफोर क्या पहले से कुछ ज्यादा तुझे मिला जब तूने मुझसे मेरा सब कुछ छीन लिया ना तो इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस इज take them away now take taking away is like snatching now there are there, there is an important aspect that you need to keep in mind when one is love with someone you know he does not care if the other uses his things uses his objects you know they they have a mutual understanding in which they can use each other's things are you know wo kehte hain ke agar hum kisi se mohabbat karte hain to hamari sari cheeze uski hoti hai to usko chheenne ki zarurat nahi hoti पहले से ही जो है एक म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग में वो एक दूसरे की चीजें एक दूसरे की होती हैं बट इवन इफ आफ्टर दैट समवन ट्राइज टू स्टील समथिंग समवन ट्राइज टू स्नेच समथिंग इन दैट केस यू नो इट्स अ नेचुरल रिएक्शन टू द सिचुएशन दैट वी आस्क हिम नाउ पहले तो मैंने तुझे कोई किसी चीज से रोका नहीं लेकिन फिर भी तू इतना नीचे गिर गया कि तूने कोई चीज छीनी अब तू बता कि वो छीनने के बाद तुझे ज्यादा क्या मिला What more have you achieved? What more have you got after stooping so low to the to the you know to the state of theft? These were the first two verses of this sonnet, and what we understand that uh, you know William Shakespeare is or uh, the poet is you know grieved at some grave mistake or grave amiss of his friend, grave error, grave betrayal of his friend. No love, my love, that thou mayest true call love. Now you know, a love is a word which has been repeated in this sonnet repeatedly. So it means different. No love, my love. Now this love here means his friend. So he's addressing his friend because he loves his friend. You know, often do we do such thing that uh, the person whom we love, you know, we call him my love. So he says no love. Nahi mere mahboob, mere mahboob ye nahi wo jisse mohabbat kehte. You cannot call this true love. What you have done, it shows that you do not love me truly. You do not love me dearly, or you do not trust me. You have broken my trust, and I can't say that this is the love. This is the true love. This is the real love. That's not the fact. That's not the truth. All mine was thine before thou hadest this more. All mine was thine. Did I ever stop you from using anything that was mine? Was there any barrier between you and me? Were there things differentiated between you and me? Were they divided? No, everything mine was thine. But then you went this a step ahead, a step beyond. Now this moving a step ahead, you had us this more. Now this more is an important thing. Now that is a reference to the beloved of the poet or of the William of William Shakespeare that he snatched that from him. He said that they, I, I had no problem with anything else that you were using, but then you took this bad step that you snatched this one more extra from me. Now the use of more is important here. This more could be you know one extra thing. This could be uh, a reference to how important uh, the person or the thing which has been snatched by his friend was to William Shakespeare. Then if for my love. Thou, my love receives. I cannot blame thee. Now, uh, as I uh, said earlier, also in other sonnets, that when William Shakespeare is talking about his friend, you know, he has got a lot of ambiguity even in his mind, and he is in a confused state while he is writing about his friend. You know, he neither blames him outrightly, uh, you know, nor forgives him. You know, he doesn't know how to react to the situation or to the betrayal of his friend, as he says that. Uh, since you have received my love, you have deceived me. तू ने मेरी मोहब्बत की खातिर मेरी मोहब्बत को मुझसे छीना तो मैं तुझे इसके लिए blame नहीं कर सकता I cannot blame this for thee. 
Now, not blaming is an important aspect of these sonnets. You know, as I said, okay, he is dearly in love with his friend. You know, he tries to uh, you know hide uh, the shortcomings of his friend, but then his friend has uh, done such a huge betrayal that William Shakespeare, you know, cannot resist but tell the reader that this is what he did. But still, he tries to save him, protect him. For my love, thou usest. I cannot blame thee for using my love. Now, this is very odd and strange kind of statement he is using. Now, using my love. Now, this love, as I said, is repeated for various things. Now, this love here refers to the mistress of his, uh, of his, that is the mistress of poet. That he says that I won't be blaming you for using her or for snatching her or for taking her away. But yet be blamed. But you are to be blamed. But I will blame you. Why? If thou self deceivest. By willful taste of what thyself refuses. You have deceived me, I'll forgive you. Tune mujhe dhoka diya, mujhe dhoka dene ke liye mein tujhe mwaaf kar sakta hu. Aur dhoka kya tha ke tune mujhe se meri mein huwa chhini. Is kaam ke liye mein tujhe mwaaf kar sakta hu. Ya mein tujhe tujhe ilzaam nahi laga sakta hu. But still I'll blame you because you have deceived thyself. जो तूने खुद को धोखा दिया खुद को कैसे धोखा दिया यू प्रोमिस मी एंड यू न्यू के देर आर सम लिमिट सम मॉरल सम बाउंड्रीज सम लिमिटेशन विच यू न्यू यू हैव टू फॉलो नाउ यू हैव क्रॉस दो लिमिट्स इन दैट वे यू हैव रिसीव योर सेल्फ एंड बाई बिलफुल टेस्ट ऑफ वट बाई सेल्फ रिफ्यूज एंड यू हैव स्नेच दैट दैट थिंग विच यू हैड रिफ्यूज योर सेल्फ अपॉन योर सेल्फ उस चीज को तूने अपनाया जो तूने खुद पे खुद से हराम की हुई थी यू हैड रिफ्यूज दैट यू नो यू न्यू शी वॉज माई मिस्ट्रेस एंड यू न्यू दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू मेक हर योर मिस्ट्रेस बट यू हैव रिसीव यूर सेल्फ एंड फॉर दैट यू आर टू बी ब्लेम एंड यू शुड बी ब्लेम एंड आई एल ब्लेम आई डू फॉर गिव दाई रॉबरी जेंटल थी ऑल दो दाउ स्टील दी All my poet. Now he is using an important word, robbery, daka dalna. Now you know that's important. You know he is revealing you know the very dark side of his friend, which will you know become a very orthodoxical as he moves ahead when he starts again praising his friend. You know he forgets all these robberies, but here he is telling us that his friend has robbed him. Usne mujh pe daka dala, and you have. and still i am going to forgive you and he uses another important thing here gentle thief he calls him thief but he you know puts gentle before uh, the word thief so making it a transfer that he had but he says that he has robbed me of all my poet tune mujhse mera sab kuch chhin ja main tujhe fir bhi maaf karta ja main tujhe fir bhi maaf kar deta hu jo bhi tune kiya mere sath tere tamam guna teri tamam galtiyan main maaf karta hu and yet Love knows it's a it's a greater grief. But in fear, be me, what can I do? Still, I want to tell you that it's very difficult for me to bear this. The wrong that you have committed with me, the wrong that you have done to me, is very difficult to bear. मुझसे बर्दाश्त नहीं होती ये तेरी गलती, ये तेरा धोखा, ये तेरी दगा मुझसे बर्दाश्त नहीं होती. क्यों? To bear love strong than hates non-injury. The reason is because अपने का दिया हुआ धोखा उससे जिससे हम मोहब्बत करते हैं उसके उसकी उसकी दी हुई दगा को बर्दाश्त करना उस जख्म को उस दर्द को बर्दाश्त करना बड़ा मुश्किल होता है कंपेयर टू एन एनिमी अगर कोई दुश्मन हेट्स इंजरी कोई हम समन हेट्स मी एंड इफ ही यू नो हार्म्स मी इट वुड बी इजी फॉर मी टू बियर दैट ग्रीफ बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी न्यू कि ये बंदा मुझसे दुश्मनी रखता था अदावत रखता था उसके बिना पे अगर उसने मेरे साथ कुछ गलत किया तो बर्दाश्त हो जाता लेकिन इफ आई नो समीज माई फ्रेंड ही इज माई बिन लाउड एंड इवन आफ्टर दैट ही हर्ट ही हर्ट्स मी दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज अनबियर एंड आई कैन नॉट बियर ऑल दिस पैन दैट यू हैव गिवन लेस विशियस ग्रेस इन होम ऑल इल वेल शोज किल मी विथ स्पाइट्स Yet we must not be fools. Now again, he becomes mild. He says that all your deeds are not because of your bad character, but because of you know a, th- a lustful thought. Less vicious grace is a lustful thought. You know that lustful thought has become the reason of all the ill that you have done. Do anything to me. Kill me with spites. Now that's another important thing. Now you have robbed me. You have uh, taken everything from me. Kill me. But we must not be fools. 
मैं तेरा दुश्मन नहीं बनना चाहता हमारी दोस्ती कायम रहे तू इसके लिए मेरी जान ले 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 लेकिन हम दुश्मन नहीं बनने चाहिए वी मस्ट नॉट बी फोर्स दैट वॉज सोनेट नंबर फोर्टी फ्रॉम द सीरीज ऑफ सोनेट बाई विलियम शेक्सपियर एंड वॉट वी हैव इन दिस सोनेट इज अ रेवल्यूशन ऑफ द मिस्टेक आर the betrayal of his friend and the betrayal we understand was that he had robbed uh, the poet from his beloved he has snatched his beloved from him and uh, he uh, you know uses many negatives in the sonnet for example robbery for example gentle thief uh, for his friend but even uh, at the end of uh, the uh, sonnet in the concluding couplets we again find that uh, the poet is not ready to blame his uh, friend or go all guns blazing against him he still finds a way or um, some means to forgive his friend and uh, keep his friendship going that is all we have at your academy for today i hope that this lecture was helpful for you and you were able to understand sonnet number 40 from the series of sonnets written by william shakespeare don't forget to share like and subscribe your academy for more interesting stuff keep watching your academy